Hey guys, 7demo7 7 here and this is my maiden of the EFX racer. Now, things did not go uh, as planned. Um, I should have listened to my instincts. I didn't have the CG uh, perfectly on like I would normally check my airplanes. So there's a lot of lessons to be learned here. So I that's why I left in some of the clips. Just like I do my wig yeah. Like this? Yep. This thing's beautiful. Thank you. What? Can you put a 1300 in here? Uh, this is a 2200 3S. And I also have a little bit of weight in the front. I have a half an ounce in the front of the of the airplane. Woo! Okay, Jeff is panicking. This yeah. This is just truly his first flight with his first high performance plane. That's exactly true. Okay, so we got wind coming this way. I'm gonna get right here on this pad. Woo! Okay, here's the thing. I'm fully expecting to not be able to fly this when I, I'm done. I, if it crashes and burns, I'm okay with it. All right, I'm just putting that out there. Okay guys, one of the reasons I said that is because uh, I am a intermediate pilot and um, this is a more high performance plane than I'm used to. So I know that I'm taking a risk when I am flying this airplane, as you can see right here. Nah, that's not good. Oh, the nose cone, the nose cone is broken and was partially too. So the uh, spinner bit that was on here, the plastic bit broke. I just want to get, I don't want to crash it in there or there. So at this point I'm scratching my head. I really don't know what's going on. I've never had a, ma a maiden actually go bad on me. This is the first time. Just uh, yeah, I might try that. Let me um, let me think here. What I want to do? Okay, I'll, I'll give you a three, two, one. So remember, uh, about a thirty degree up pitch. Uh, higher. Yeah, about like that. Okay, three, two, one, go. There you go. It was your launch. I'm pitching up. I'm tail heavy. I think. Yeah, I, I'm not doing that. Now at this point, I know for a fact that my airplane is way tail heavy. In fact, um, it is so uncontrollable, and and I, I actually had my buddy Wayne reach in and give me full uh, down elevator, which is pushing the um, the nose straight down because it's pitching up so hard, and the tail wants to come around on me. Too tail heavy. So I'm gonna land it here. Right, just right over here, yeah. You sure you want to do that? They tear your wings out. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's see if I can get some weight in there. EFX Razor, take two. So this is several days later after I actually went through the airplane and dialed in the CG, uh, added a one and a half ounces to the nose of the airplane. And I realized I was using a 2200 battery pack that was pretty compact and, and didn't have the same weight that some other uh, guys were running. This is a 3S 2200. And I realized if I was running a 4S, it probably would have been a lot heavier. And that's where my problems came in. Let's try it once. You guys coming? <laughs> Woo! Now it's raining more, damn it. I just want to see if it flies. I'm going to take it up, go and then land it, okay? <laughs> yep. Okay, so uh, error on more than the 45 degree angle. I'm gonna count one, two, I'll power up on two, and you throw on three. All right, three, I, okay. One, two, three. Look at that baby go! Oh, that's, per that's perfect. It, it came through right out of my hand. That's better, Jeff. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually controllable. It's actually controllable. It can rain, man. Do an aileron roll on it. See how uh, not yet, man. I'm just, I'm just trying it out. That's full speed right there. Wow, that thing's looking pretty good. Holy s**t. 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna land this thing. I'm worried about water getting in my radio. Oh yeah. Oh, that flies nice, man. Yeah, that weight it really helped. This is like no throttle. It's, I've been no throttle for the last 10 seconds. It is. It is. It's just yeah. The motor's off. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want that prop. Yee! <laughs> it flies. Okay, we just had a successful maiden of the Durafly EFX Racer. And it's raining. I had to put a lot of weight in the nose. But it was successful and I didn't crash it. <laughs> yeah, get all this freaking rain. <laughs> Dude, look at all the weeds on my on my airplane. All right, guys. So after the rain actually stopped, I went back to the field and I flew another two batteries. And I can tell you that this thing just really performs. I'm super happy with it. Probably one of the most exciting planes that I've laid my hands on. Uh, my hands were actually shaking a, a little bit afterwards. I was so excited. Uh, but the next challenge here is to go to my 4S pack and tame that beast. So uh, hopefully you guys will join me for that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.